Welcome to the Bill Levinson Experience, a motivational podcast relating to the insurance brokerage industry and business in general. And now, here's Bill Levinson. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time and listening to the three of us, especially right after a big four-day Thanksgiving holiday weekend. We want to make sure that you get the most bang for the buck, so please take down notes. If you have your notes app on a cell phone, iPad, tablet, uh, laptop, whatever it is, we want to make sure you have nuggets after today's recording. Okay, why? Because you're going to learn a lot, and I want to make sure you remember these things, you utilize these things in your everyday practice. I know we have a huge audience. We have thousands and thousands of people across the country that listen in. Some are related to insurance, uh, CPAs, estate planning attorneys, basically all the above. We have younger listeners. We have uh, middle-aged listeners. We have veteran type listeners. So the goal is that you can listen to myself, okay, or we have the president of Standard Life and, uh, in fact, Manhattan Life, which is Todd Tippett, is joining us. And then Kemp Cole is also joining us as well. He is our regional vice president. So, again, my point is you are going to take away some big nuggets today, and that is the name of the game on every episode that I launch to you all. So, please, that's why we do it is to give back and to make sure you all walk away with something. So today's episode, very, very excited. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this, and I think you all are as well. Um, the reason why, and, and you know Levinson & Associates, okay, we've been around since 1972, Kerry. Uh, my father started the company. You've heard the story over and over. Um, it's my job to go out and find the best, carriers, the best technology, sales platforms, marketing platforms, all the above. So you all can go and sell and be dangerous and share your story to hundreds of thousands of prospects. Okay. So the way that this whole thing came up today, and it's a a crazy story, is I have a good friend of mine, uh, Michael, from another carrier that we work with as well, who introduced me to, to Kemp. And he said, I think you guys would work great together. I know what you're doing on the life insurance and annuity side, and I know what they're doing uh, from the carrier's perspective, and I think it's a great mesh. So anyway, long story short, we had an introduction call. Everything is working out great. Um, I also uh, met Todd as well, who, like I said, is the president. Um, And here we are today, right, end of year, end of, uh, or or coming towards the end of quarter four, and we created this awesome partnership. And why is it so awesome? Number one, and listen to this for a second, this should be your first nugget, Manhattan Life is 173 years old, okay? So you talk about a company with great credentials, financials, ratings, stability, household name, they have all the above. Okay, so that's number one, because you want to make sure you're comfortable with what you're selling, especially when you're speaking to new consumers, prospects, your book of business, family members. So that's a big deal, okay? And another huge deal is they are now going to be on Insure Me Now Direct. We're going to start with two products year-end, and then as 24 uh, comes in and, and we're in maybe quarter one, quarter two, we're going to add new products from Manhattan Life. So it's going to get bigger and better. And then in, in the interim, you can sell all of their 13 products, okay, on their agent portal. So make sure you get set up as soon as you hang up today's podcast episode. I don't care what time or day you're listening. You want to get appointed with Levinson, start selling on and off the platform, um, and you're going to hear why, like I said, in the next 40 minutes here, 30 to 40 minutes and you'll see exactly uh, what we're talking about and why the excitement, okay, coming from my voice. So great stuff. All right, let me shift gears for a second. Um, I want to talk about our two guest speakers who are joining us uh, from Standard Life and and Manhattan Life, okay? Uh, Manhattan Life is the parent company, just so everybody understands the big picture. So Todd Tippett, who is the president of Standard Life and Casualty, 
so I'm going to talk about a little bit about his bio real fast, and then we're going to move over to Kemp Cole, our RVP as well. So Todd was a director at Cigna, okay, and with primary accountability for the direct-to-consumer channel, okay, and that's where Ensure Me Now Direct comes in, where you all, our agents, go direct-to-consumer. So he's very experienced on that side. He began his career in the insurance industry in 1995 at Cigna, okay? So he's been in the business a long, long time. In fact, uh, we're both uh, going on, let's see, about 20, over 25 years. So we're pretty, pretty close. Uh, during his career, he's held a variety of leadership roles with increasing responsibility at Cigna, United Healthcare, and Sterling Life Insurance Company, which is Windsor Health Group. His background and expertise includes marketing operations, underwriting, sales, distribution, management, and telesales. Additionally, Todd has international experience in Latin America and has lived in Chile for two years, and he's also fluent in Spanish. Mr. Tippett's earned his BS, Bachelor's of Science in Microbiology, from Brigham Young University, and his MBA from the Fuca School of Business at Duke University. So I'll shift gears uh, real fast to Kemp Cole, who joined Standard Life in April of 2020 as an RVP of sales. Prior to joining the company, Kemp was a senior vice president of marketing and sales at Kemper for 10 years. He served in various roles for the marketing and sales team in addition to product development since 2002. Prior to that, Kemp was a regional sales manager for five years and an independent contractor for 15 years selling individual life and health insurance. Oklahoma State University is where Kemp received his Bachelor of Science degree in organizational administration, and he is active in the local Oklahoma National Association of Benefit Professionals. So again, you're seeing a ton of experience here on the life side, the health side, from the carrier level, from an independent producer standpoint, okay? We all have a ton of experience on all sides, so that's why this is going to be great. So what I want to do first is, uh, Todd, number one, I want to thank you for joining, and I, I really appreciate you taking the time. If you want to just give everyone the 100-foot the overview, if you will, uh, a, a little bit about you and, and your background, that would be great. Yeah, Thank you so much, Bill, for the great introduction there and for the partnership that we have started to build between Manhattan Life, Standard Life, and the Levinson & Associates companies. Um, as you mentioned, I have been in the industry going on uh, approaching 30 years now, uh, and really for the last 20 years or so, I have been exclusively focused in the over and under 65 insurance space, working both on a direct-to-consumer basis and with external brokers and broker partners, um, focused on building products, bringing those products to market, and helping to have um, successful agents selling our carriers' products in the marketplace. So thank you for having us and, and really excited to be here today. Yeah, no, 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 that, that, that was great. But can I ask you just a, a quick question, Todd, if you don't mind? Absolutely. I'm sure the audience is curious too, but what, what made you get involved in, in the life and health insurance space? Like what was, the, what was the key point, if you don't mind? Yeah, you know, I think really it has boiled down to me um, for a couple of things. You know, I, uh, as you mentioned, I started my career at Cigna in 1995, and I was very involved the early part of my career in group insurance, both you know, on the domestic front and on the international front in South America. Uh, and I had an opportunity about 10 years into my career to get involved in the Medicare space. And um, I'll call it a little bit of dumb luck, but as I did my research and thought about the baby boom generation and what was coming as I looked at the data and the statistics in the early 2000s, I thought, what an opportunity to be involved in this space on an individual front and to help people like my friends, 
my neighbors, my parents, and my grandparents help find safety and security with insurance products that meet their needs when they need it. And so I decided to make that pivot into that space back in about 2003, 2004, and I haven't looked back since then. Um, and uh, it really has been a great uh, opportunity to help so many individuals uh, at their time of need, uh, and uh, that's kind of the background. No, that's that's great. You know, it's so funny because we have a, a ton of uh, guest speakers, you know, related to our industry, and some are not. I mean, we had a the World Series MVP on our podcast. We had Tom Brady's wide receiver that caught his uh, 425th uh, touchdown pass, you know, from all walks of life. But when you speak to, like, the insurance carriers, VPs, the presidents, and you speak to some of the gurus in our space, it's all the common theme, the common story of how and why they got involved. It was about, you know, helping clients and, and family members doing the right thing and at the same time making a living, which became a, a win-win. So it, it's just funny to hear that. Uh, it's, it's so similar. Okay, yeah, let's... Thank you. Yeah, of course, of course. Let's shift gears over to Kemp. Uh, Cole, if you don't mind, Kemp, can you just give us a little background and, and how you got started in this uh, crazy industry of ours? <laughs> sure, yeah. They, uh, I appreciate the opportunity, and I want to echo what Todd said, is that we're impressed with the strength of the Levinson organization and proud to be a part of it. And uh, my story is probably similar to a lot of the people listening to this podcast is I got into it by accident. <laughs> so I uh, had to figure out a way to pay for my college uh, after my dad told me that he wasn't going to pay for it anymore if I was going to make those kind of grades. <laughs> so I uh, spent my last two years selling insurance on the weekends to make ends meet. Uh, really didn't have an intention to stay in the business. But then uh, when I got out of school, I was going to accept a, a salary position um, with a pharmaceutical company. The One of our managers was in town, and he asked me, he said, well, how much are you making in renewals today? And I really hadn't paid attention because I was hand to mouth. And when I got to looking at it, I was making about two-thirds of the salary they were offering me. And so the rest is history. I uh, went into it full-time, and... It's been a great marriage, and I think what I bring to the table is unique uh, that I was an agent just like yourself for 15 years uh, before I moved into management and then product development and uh, then running the whole organization. So um, health and life insurance excites me a lot, and uh, like I said, we are proud to be a part of your organization. Yeah, no, I and I appreciate that, and 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 that's also interesting because you've been on both sides of the fence, which I think is is crucial. So you understand, mm -hmm. you know, what it's like to be in, in the trenches, you know, out in the field, and then you know now uh, from a carrier's uh, perspective, you 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 understand their side and how they have to you know, protect the company, of course, so it stays around another 173 years, and then you also have to look out for the agent. So. I, I love that. I, I love that story. And, you know, I, I think it's it's interesting. Before we, we dive into the, the carrier and, and the products a little more, I, I also want to mention, um, once you're set up, you're appointed with us, with Manhattan Life, um, you're obviously, you get to speak to all of our marketers, our entire team of 26 in four different states. And, and then Kemp is also uh, available for you as well. So it's just good good to know you have another resource available at the carrier that, that can also go to bat for you and, and get things done. So just a little, a little peace of mind there. You know, I find it interesting. You know, here we are. We're talking about, you know, our, our personal stories a, a little bit. And every, uh, every well, for the most part, everybody knows my, my background and, and story. And, and, and it's all very similar, right? And, and it's similar in the way that, this became not so much about, you know, the money. And it's it's funny how you mentioned the renewals. But it's it's almost like here the three of us are, we're so focused on doing the right thing, helping the client. It doesn't matter if it's an agency or a consumer. 
but helping these people win, right? Helping them protect their families in, in case of an emergency or crisis, in case of a death. And, and then the money comes next, right? And, 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 and a lot of times, they're, they're in the beginning especially, there were six months, a year that would go by, and I wouldn't even have my, my annual CPA meeting yet, and, and I would sit down with her and then say, oh, my gosh, I didn't realize, you know, that's what we brought in. This, this was the renewal. But it, it's like that came second. And, and I'm mm-hmm. just going to tell you a quick story. Um, I'll tell you this quick story, and then uh, we're going to jump into a little background about the carrier and products. You know, I, 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 and obviously I knew about this webinar, myself, Todd, and Kemp, and I was uh, on a, a boat yesterday, and, and it turns out I was with nine people, and one of the guys that was with us is the CFO for Walt Disney World, and he is the chief financial officer for the licensing department, and he's been with the company for over 20 years. And his name is Edgar, and I, I was talking to him yesterday because I found this so interesting. And, and I said, Edgar, you know what amazes me the most about Walt Disney World? And if you've ever been, which most of us have been there at least once, if you notice the customer service, their, their employees, they wear it on their sleeve. They are so dedicated to the customer, to the consumer, and the passion, right, it is 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 so relevant. It's it's so in your face, and I don't think you can do anything to get them riled up and upset. And I was talking to him about this, and I said, you know, we have 26 employees, and sometimes it, it could be challenging. And I said, how do they do this? And they said, Bill, you know what the key is? This is what Edgar says to me. He says the key. Those people aren't there for the money. He said, yes, of course they have to take care of their families and you know put their bread on the table. He said, but the bottom line, at the end of the day, they're there because they want to be part of Disney World. They want to be part of what we're doing. They want to wear it on their sleeve, and they all have a passion for what they do every day. And it doesn't matter if it's the one that cleans the garbage cans or controls you know, the new ride Tron or the one that's in the, the newest country in Epcot. It doesn't make a difference. They all have that same mindset and drive. Uh, and it's all about doing the right thing for the customer. And then comes what's next is, is the money, which obviously they're entitled to do. But I think that's what we all have in common here. And I just find it very, very interesting, you know, to, to look at like the 100-foot overview on obviously a totally different organization than what we do, but it's the common theme, the common thread that we all share. So, and you should be doing the same thing, by the way. It's about the customer first. All right, so what I want to do now is shift gears again um, back over to, to Todd first is, you know, here we are, right, the end of 23, the beginning of 24 is around the corner, and we just came through a crazy three to four years, right, with, with COVID, with the ups and downs, and, you know, and now this slight to recession and, and the cost of living increases, and I just would like to know, you know, and I'll speak on behalf of the audiences, you know, over the last year, two, three, what have you seen, you know, from the carrier side? Um, and then any, any good stories, success stories that came out of it? And if you can just fill in our audience a little bit, that would be great. Absolutely. You know, I think what a great story you shared there from Walt Disney World. Um, and, uh, you know, I like how you acknowledge that, you know, we all realize that we have to support ourselves and our families. Um, but really being engaged in a cause gives people that extra motivation and incentive to do what's right in every interaction that they have. So thanks for sharing that, Bill. Um, I would say to you, uh, you know, in terms of the question you've asked, you're right. This has been um, uh, an adventurous um, uh, past few years, uh, if uh, if I may say so, right? And, and you alluded to that. We've seen the challenges of COVID, of strife in the world, of economic recession, et cetera. Um, and that, to me, each one of those situations points to the fact that people uh, all have the need to not only take care of themselves and their families today, but to protect their health and their assets as much as possible for the future. And that is where insurance 
insurance agents uh, and insurance agencies like Levinson all come together in what I believe is a perfect partnership to help individuals address that need. And how do we do that? We do that with some pretty innovative products and services. I know we're going to dive into many of those, uh, and I know that you're providing information on your website that describes our products. But I think one that really comes to mind um, is the success that we've had in 2023 with our latest product launch. This is a product that any agent, agent or agency that gets contracted with Levinson is able to sell, and that is our OmniFlex short-term care product. Again, this is just one of the 13 products that you alluded to, Bill. But what we saw here was, as we've looked at the industry and where people are facing concerns, one of the concerns that's so critical right now is the long-term care space and those needing care at home. In fact, I was just reading an article this morning from the Kaiser Family Foundation talking about how long-term care insurance has been a challenge for people in the industry. We did research, we did analysis, we put together a product that provides a great uh, product to the, uh, to the marketplace that tries to address these needs. And this OmniFlex short-term care product um, really tried to address a couple of needs in the industry. One being traditional long-term care insurance is very hard to get access to. There aren't very many carriers available anymore. Underwriting is tough and premiums are very high. So with our short-term care product, we provide coverage in a nursing home or an assisted living facility up to one year. Um, it also provides home health care through a rider for those that prefer to get care at home. And we've made it more um, obtainable via underwriting and via premiums that are affordable. We have seen tremendous success in the marketplace. Um, it's been sold by agents for about five or six months now. We've already passed the $2 million mark and are expecting to double those sales volumes in 2024. So just one example, Bill, of many that I could provide to you uh, of why things um, are really coming together nicely for the Manhattan Life family of companies. Yeah, no, 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 that, that's, that's an excellent example. Um, and and I, I see and hear the same thing. And if you think about it, especially when we got started, all three of us in the industry, you know, long-term care, standalone products. You know, I remember uh, uh, GE and Genworth, and, you know, there there were some excellent products. And the issue was there was nothing, you know, that was guaranteed level. And now all of a sudden the premiums skyrocket, clients are calling in, and there's even lawsuits. And it became a, a disaster, and then these hybrids started to, to pop up. Um, but for, for middle America, that solution for long-term care is, is a no-brainer. So I, I'm happy you just brought that up, Todd. I, I appreciate that. All right, what, what I want to do now, uh, Kemp, do you, any, uh, any points that you want to uh, touch on uh, regarding that, that question as well, or success stories, or, you know, your thoughts? I know you're a little... Uh, uh, deeper down in the company, and any yeah. any thoughts on yeah, that? Yeah, no, I, I do. Um, one of the assets that Manhattan provides is their ease of administration, their platform, and that has attracted more agents to us in the last two years than anything else, just about. And uh, using the mother's maiden name uh, qualifies for their signature. So the client doesn't have to uh, respond to anything, click on anything. They don't have to take any action. It's just they put the mother's maiden name and, and that's it. And so that and just the ease that you can get around the admin platform to manage your clients or to take applications, um, I think that's one of the things that sets Manhattan apart in the marketplace today. Yep, I totally agree, and that's part of the reason why we – came on board and partnered with you all is exactly 
mm-hmm. what you're talking about. And, and, and you know, it, as agents, some of these, these bigger carriers, right, that are uh, uh, global and, and, you know, they're, they're A++ rated, financials are, are excellent, what, what tends to happen, and they have, you know, hundreds of thousands of agents, all of a sudden you need a, a change or new technology or, uh, hey, we want you on our platform, and it takes sometimes six months, a year, two years, and then you find out that because you had to go up, you know, 18 different layers, by the time you made it to, to 17, they shot it down, and you never got anywhere. So what I love about mm-hmm. Manhattan Life, they're, they're big enough to where the strength is there, but small enough to get things done for you, the agents, right? And for us as the partner IMO. So I, I love that. Um, let's talk about, you know, our, our agents rely on us, right, as the IMO to bring them the top carriers and products from all different parts of the industry. You know, the, the, the $10, $20 million IUL sale, you know, the, it could be the final expense sale. It could be the supplemental products, you know, for health agencies, PNC agencies, life agencies. But I guess the question here, and I'll leave it open for either Todd or, or Kemp, is if you're speaking to one of our agents out there, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, you know, wherever in the country, how would they look at Manhattan life and why would they want to rely on, on Manhattan? Where would you guys shine? You know, out of the 90 companies, where do you fit in, would you say? I'll take the first stab at this, Bill, and then I'd love Kemp to add his insights because he brings that excellent background that you highlighted of being somebody that's been out in the trenches as an agent as well. Um, I think you've highlighted a couple, uh, Bill, that I'll reiterate, and I'll add a couple more. One that you highlighted, we have the longevity of being in the business for 170 plus years, but yet we are privately held, medium in size, and very nimble compared to some of the large carriers out there, and we can bring market-leading solutions to the marketplace faster than many companies. Um, Additionally, What we like agents to think about when they think of Manhattan Life is we know that agents are out there meeting the needs of clients in both the under 65 space and the over 65 space by providing to them medical solutions through perhaps an ACA plan, a Medicare supplement plan, a Medicare Advantage plan. We believe that Manhattan Life should be the preeminent carrier that insurance agents think of to provide the package of protection that their client needs to wrap around those base plans that they're focused on. What are they getting in addition to an ACA plan? You can purchase many options with Manhattan Life to provide that package of protection, accident coverage, uh, gap coverage, hospital indemnity coverage, dental, vision, hearing coverage, and same for those in the Medicare space. What are they doing to address their final expense needs, their home health care needs, their short-term care needs, their accident needs? Um, That is really, and what are they doing to address their cancer, heart attack, and stroke concerns uh, for if they have a diagnosis of cancer or, or an occurrence of a heart attack or stroke? So, those are really the things I think about that agents should focus on with Manhattan Life of how we bring together that nimbleness, longevity, and product solutions to provide a perfect package of protection to every client that they work with. Kemp, what, what would you add to that? Uh, you covered it very well. And the only thing that I would add is uh, we're diverse as an organization. And what I'm talking about in that point is most of our materials are in Spanish uh, for the clients to be able to see the brochures and understand it better. Uh, we'll take a tax identification number in lieu of the Social Security number. So we're trying to reach out to all marketplaces uh, to provide this needed coverage in the market today. That's, that's what I would add to it. Yeah, that, that, that's great, and, and, and you're exactly right, and that fills a niche and our, our product and carrier portfolio. So, and again, another major reason why we're having this uh, launch podcast and why we just had the 
the webinar a few weeks back, which, by the way, you can check out on our YouTube channel uh, when you get a chance. Um, you know, what, what you just heard from the three of us is, is great, and, and we all know, right, as insurance agents, as salespeople out there in the field, you can have the best product in the world, but if the company makes it tough to sell, you're going to naturally steer away from the carrier, from the products, right? We all know how that works. So I, I would like, uh, again, Todd and Kemp, uh, if you want to uh, take this question, um, let's talk about once an agent is appointed, right? They're set up, they're, they're ready to, to sell, and they, they need to, to understand, you know, how, how simple is it to do business with you all today? You know, we, talk, we spoke about the agent portal uh, quickly, but can you just uh, share some, some knowledge on that for, for the agents out there? Absolutely. Thank you, Bill. Um, I know that Kemp highlighted one, which is the signature, um, but there's a couple that come to my mind that I think really are notable. Um, number one is we have what um, really is viewed by most agents in the marketplace as one of the leading, if not the leading, application and enrollment tool. And that's why I know, Bill, you alluded to it, but we feel that we are such a good partnership because agents are going to be able to use our tool plus the InsureMeNow Direct platform to be able to do great package selling. And on our platform today, agents can take one client and they can start to quote them this package of protection. Let's say somebody is a Medicare client and they're looking to add a dental plan, a final expense plan, and a cancer plan to their Medicare supplement product. With Manhattan Life, that agent can get on our portal can provide them a quote for each one of those three products, final expense, cancer, and dental. And then when that client is ready to sign up, the agent clicks start enrollment, and then they only have to fill out one application for all three of those products. It's very much like an Amazon shopping cart experience and is really fantastic. We also have what I have found to be the only carrier out there that has developed an app that you can get in the Google or the Apple application store. Uh, it's called Easy Upload for clients to submit their claims via an app on their phone. You download the app, you log in, you take a picture of your claim form, your claim information you're submitting, you submit it right on your phone. Really, we are all about making it convenient for both agents and our customers, and those are a couple of examples. Uh, again, Kemp, I'll look to you. I know there's many others. Maybe you have a few others you'd like to add to that list. Yeah, I do, and uh, those are great points that we just made. And I think one point that sometimes overlooked is with COVID, you know, that kind of forced the insurance companies into being technology-friendly and which that's one of the best things that's ever happened. And I deal with some older agents, and I walk them through our platform, administration platform, and all of them catch on to it really quick. It's not like it's uh, some rocket science. they got to read a book and know how to program anything. It's very user intuitive. And so with these uh, older agents, I've been able to carry them through to where they're like, this isn't a problem. I can do this. And uh, and I think that's probably one of the, the big things that I see other than what Todd mentioned. Yeah, no, no, that, that that's great. And, and you all, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're aware of this, but uh, most of our agents are very familiar with this. We do have a couple other carriers without mentioning names uh, in a similar space um, as you all. And what happens in, is they've been sold off, you know, two, three times. And, and next thing you know, they have a, a new executive team and a new RVP. And, you know, we, our contacts are changed overnight. And, and, and the service, you know, just suffers. And then that means the service suffers to the agents. And then they're changing products overnight. And it becomes a disaster. So on top of everything you just mentioned, the fact that Manhattan Life has been around for 173 years tells me everything I need to know as an IMO and for you all as agents, 
that's a huge plus. They're they're here. They're not going anywhere, right? The products are are here. They're only getting better from this point on. The technology is is second to none, as you're hearing. An app for your consumer, okay, to to log in at any time, 24/7 in real time fashion. That's exactly what we need to hear. Music to our ears. So we love that. Um, what I want to also talk about too, and, and quickly. And I know most of uh, our agents are not familiar with the products, but if one of you can just tell us, I believe we have 13 products now. Um, I could be off by one or two, but can you, without diving into this for an hour, can you just touch on, on each product uh, just quickly, just so everybody is aware of what the offering is by Manhattan? Sure, I'll take that one. Um, I, and if I leave any out, Todd, you can clean it up. That's that. Uh, <laughs> We we got our home health care product, which has been around for uh, over 10 years, and that product is a really good product because the underwriting is super simple, uh, easy to qualify for, and a needed product in the space. Todd's already talked about our nursing care policy, which is simplified issue and very reasonable rates. I think that's a leader in the marketplace. Our Medicare supplement are usually ranked in the top five on rates, and they're they're a, a good product, and people are attracted to them. Uh, we've got our cancer, heart attack, and stroke policy, which can cover cancer by itself or heart by itself, or they can get both at one time. Um, our accident policies, we have several to choose from, are definitely uh, inexpensive but tremendous wraparound products to the major medical or ACA plans. And then we have our hospital indemnities, which the under age 65 is a tremendous product uh, that can help clients, especially with ones that don't get a subsidy. Uh, that helps really good. And then we have a hospital indemnity coming out in the spring that will work alongside Medicare Advantage plans. And so that'll be a very aggressive competitive product that we have there. And then we have another hospital indemnity that covers the deductible uh, that a person might have uh, upon hospital admission. So uh, the dental vision hearing, I don't. I think we're a leader in that industry right now. I don't think anybody can touch us. Um, it's very competitive. Day one benefits on dental uh, hearing covers hearing aids if they want to have the coverage, and uh, the price is good. The vision. Again, uh, it's a rider. You can have it or not have it, and the prices are very good if the person uses those services. So most all of our products are guaranteed renewable, so you don't have to go re-enroll them every year, and uh, that's a brief overview. Yeah, Camp, I would just add to that list, um, there's a couple of others that we should highlight. One is our final expense product. Um, we have an industry-leading product in terms of price um, that has been around for 20 years um, and is an incredible final expense product. We also have a term life and a mortgage protection plan that's available in the life space. And then in the under 65 space, we have a product called Affordable Choice. Uh, which is a uh, wonderful product that many clients have chosen either to supplement their ACA plan or as an alternative to that ACA plan where they're looking for first dollar fixed indemnity coverage uh, for them and their family. So um, that's that's pretty good list there, Bill, and thanks for letting us uh, walk through that and highlight for that for the agents. Yeah, no problem. I, I, I appreciate it. I got uh, just two questions left, and then we can uh, put a bow on this right before the hour here. Um, so so one is, uh, and we're going to get a little personal uh, for the second question, because I, I want to hear some good uh, either success stories, uh, maybe that, that changed your life from a, on a personal level, maybe a business level, whatever it is, but I'm always looking to, to help the audience in any way possible. But the first question is is business related here and and, and what I what I want to ask is just kind of the the direction you know that you all are headed in you know as far as uh, a company as far as products technology you know what 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 does it look like you know for a year out a couple years out the big picture if you can just share 
that with our audience as well, and then we'll shift to our last question. Yeah, I'll take that one briefly. I would say we as a company, our strategy for the next three to five years and into the future, Bill, is all focused on, one, we are exclusively a independent brokerage distribution company. Independent agents are our lifeblood, and we are here to support them with technology and products that meet the needs of their clients so that we can grow together. Um, that includes, as I just kind of mentioned, products. And as part of our strategy, we are continuing to identify the gaps in our product space as well as what's out there in the marketplace to provide ongoing product development. Kemp highlighted that we're rolling out a over 65 hospital indemnity product. It'll really be available both under and over 65, but it will be very critical as a wraparound product for Medicare Advantage clients. Uh, we have uh, other product development in the pipeline. Uh, and are looking to continue to grow and meet those market needs. So that's really kind of where our strategy is headed and what we're looking to do as an organization here into the future. That's uh, spot on. That's exactly uh, what we needed to know, and that's right up our alley. So perfect. And then we'll end with this question. Um, any story that you can share, you know, maybe uh, when you were uh, in your younger years, high school, college, or in the industry, uh, maybe from a mentor, a parent, maybe an agent, whatever it is, anything that, that you can share with the audience as a turning point in your life, uh, a a any examples that, that you want to share before we wrap up? Sure. I'll, I'll take a stab at that right off the bat. Um, whenever I was a manager uh, for my former company, uh, running agents underneath me, I couldn't figure out why I could not get traction. And because uh, I was working hard, you know, I was recruiting hard and felt like I was doing all the right things. And a mentor came to me, and the manager had been around for a while, <clears throat> and he said, uh, well, what about your agent? How's, how's your agent doing? And that's when the light went off for me is I was more concerned about how much money I was going to make, you know, and, and how are we servicing the client rather than how much money is my agent making and the more money they make, I'm going to make more money. And then once I started focusing on my agents and their success and making sure that the right products were presented to the client, that's when the lights went off and uh, our production grew over 300% over the next two years. So that's a personal story, I think, that rings true for everybody. I, I, I love it. I love it. Uh, Todd, do you have anything you, you want to wrap up with? Yeah, you know, I'll share this without going into a lot of detail that in my life, just over the last 10 years, Bill, I've been impacted by a death in the family that was very uh, a very critical component of our family as well as a cancer diagnosis. Each one of those situations were unexpected, um, and as you might all imagine, they lead to expenses to deal with the death in the family and to deal with a cancer treatment plan. Um, luckily, through advice from financial advisors uh, and agents like you and the Levinson organization, I and my family were protected with some life insurance coverage and with some cancer coverage that helped us and me address that each of those situations at a time of need. And it's just, it's hard to put into words what it means like, what it means to be able to take care of yourself and your health and your family and not be worried as much about the financial burden that those situations have placed on you. Um, and, and again, maybe sometime, Bill, we'll get a chance and I can go into greater detail, but, but those stories are very personal to me and very important, and I just, to me, it just brings it all together about why we're here today. We're helping people like me address and cover those needs that they have when they need it the most. So thanks again for the opportunity to share that. Yeah, no, 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 we so appreciate that, and it's so, so true. And look how this has come 
full circle. You know, we, we, we started with similar stories, you know, even the, the Walt Disney World story, you know, and how it's, it's the passion first, and it's doing the right thing for the consumer, for the agent at any level, right? And, and then the money comes. But, you know, some people like to overcomplicate things, and it all comes down, in my opinion, to doing the right thing, is doing what's best. And, and then all of a sudden you get that phone call saying, wow, Bill, you know, my father-in-law, you know, passed on, unfortunately, but that million-dollar check, you know, sure did change the way uh, we handled all the expenses and, and the nightmare that we had to deal with. So thank you. you. You never forget that. And that's what this business is about. So going back full circle, doing the right thing, passion first, then the money comes, right? But just focus on doing what's best for that customer, okay, or for the agent or for the IMO, and then everything comes around for you, right? It's not rocket science. So anyway, with that said, I know we're uh, two minutes past the hour. I personally want to thank uh, Kemp and, and Todd and, and Manhattan Life for giving us this opportunity. Uh, this has been great so far, and I know we're only uh, just getting started, and it's all great things to come. So once again, thank you to each of you. And thank you to our audience, and make sure you use those nuggets that you hopefully wrote down, right? Check out our webinar, call our office uh, to get appointed, we'll make sure we get you set up. We'll get you into that agent portal so you can start selling and bundling right away. Okay, with that said, have a great end of the year, a great holiday season, Hanukkah, Christmas, New Year's, all of the above, and then come out January 1, running and gunning, and hopefully that will be your best year ever with our advice uh, today. So with that said, great selling, and thank you again, everyone. Take care. Thank you for joining us for the Bill Levinson Experience. Please feel free to share this podcast with anyone you think would be interested. You may also visit levinsonandassociates.com and all of Bill Levinson's social media pages for more information.